I'm Daniel Rothbart, the director of the program on ethics and conflict. I want to just take a moment to explain the mission of this program. Um, the program centers on the normativity of our field, that is, the values that uh, underpin the work of conflict analysts and also conflict practitioners. There are two a series of issues and topics that we cover. One is the um, value commitments that motivate the activities of the conflict parties themselves. Um, this is really quite clear in religious-based conflicts where their sense of who they are and what they stand for and what they fear um, centers on their, their value commitments, what they think is right, wrong, good, bad, and virtuous and vicious. Um, related to that is the issue of the um, non-combatants who are engulfed in the conflict setting. These non-combatants are also uh, participants of conflict, although maybe not by intention. And they themselves are faced with a series of, of sometimes horrendous choices as to uh, whether and how they live or their family members live, um, and possibly if they do, how they flourish uh, during and after the fighting stops. Another pillar of this uh, program deals with a series of issues related to practice, that is, the work of conflict resolution practitioners. And clearly, the practice of our field is driven by value commitments towards peace building and the redress of injustices of various kinds. Um, but even at the, um, the ground level, that is, the detailed work of practitioner, there are many moral judgments uh, or many judgments that are based on value commitments. This includes issues about who is, sits at the table, the type of issues that are addressed in a, uh, a mediation session, for example, um, the standards for success or failure of a particular mediation, um, all those questions uh, uh, are interlinked to the value commitments of the practitioners uh, themselves. And related to that is the perennial issue of the neutrality of our field. This is a very challenging question um, regarding whether and if so how conflict practitioners are uh, and should remain neutral with respect to the substance of the controversy uh, between the conflict parties. Um, and uh, if practitioners are thought not to be neutral, it raises then, uh, uh, puts at the forefront the issue of the practitioner's own value system um, uh, as a, an important part of consideration in, in the work. So this is just a brief introduction to um, the program, and we find that, that this is, uh, opens up to a wide area of issues and topics of interest to people in our field and, and others.